Right, good morning everybody. This might be a bit of a long one. I apologise if it is, but you can just turn off if you get sick of my voice. Um, right, I'm not a painter. That's the first thing to say. But sometimes I get an urge, but only in respect of moving my embroidery forward. So if you've been following... Just let me move that. If you've been following this series, there's a few videos about these pieces on here. I'm making a seven inch square book of embroidery stitches um, and I've been umming and ahhing on camera on this YouTube channel about how I'm going to mount these and present these and one idea I had is what this is about today so what I'm thinking is so this is them so make note of the colours and everything in there so what I'm thinking is patchwork a band of patchwork around the outside um, as like a framing situation um, back to, then back to back them so that a page would be that would be one page and that would be um, picked up to there yeah that would be one page say and that would be on the back um, and they would have this two inch band of patchwork around them now whether that would be how they stayed and the binding would go down the side or at the top and they would just flip over whichever way or whether I would then mind you I wouldn't be able to mount them on something else would I because they'd be back to back um, yeah so that's probably how it would work but you wait and see because I've got a feeling that when I get the two inch bands of patchwork done I'll want to do something else so just bear with basically um, I had to order some templates, paper templates for patchwork, paper pieces. They haven't come yet. I don't have any square ones. I've only got hexagon ones and a few petal shaped ones. And I don't like cutting my own out because they're just not as accurate. Um, so hopefully when they come I can crack on with piecing the fabrics. So that's what I've done here, right? So that's what this is about. So this is me imagining. I've only painted one inch squares and then kind of suggested the others coming off at the side um, so if I say now these pieces on paper can be very very involved um, because so for example I want to mimic what's happening on those embroidered pieces not replicate them exactly just give a sense of what's going on on there now that might not be how it evolves that might not be what happens I will stitch these down, yes I will stitch them down, um, I need more obviously, that can come later but that's not the important thing really, what's going on in the middle, the important thing at the moment is doing more with this, so with that in mind I've cut some tiny bits of fabric that's, that have been used, that's been used in the embroidery and I've also got some torn bits of paper that I use for my design work. I've been using this kind of paper for about a year now and it comes, I always get asked, it comes from these magazines, Little Thing magazine, the, a Chinese publication that I have to search for online. It's not easy to get them, but I love the graphics in them and the colors and the layout and just everything. And even though when I tear them up, you can't tell what it used to be, just the colors and the composition, they just, really really get to me I just love it so much so I've already cut some uh, torn some of those so what I'm going to do now print stick now I'm very glue averse hardly ever use glue in my work if you've done my classes you'll know that but sometimes if you're doing this kind of thing it can't be avoided um, so I am going to embellish try and embellish these squares with bits of this fabric and paper just to kind of bring it more to life. Now the fabric, I will go back and secure that with French knots, okay, that little bit of fabric. Um, the paper maybe not, there's nothing to stop me overlapping paper and fabric, so there's a bit of fabric there. I mean, I could actually, I um, would prefer if I'd just stitch these down with French knots without putting the print stick on there, but for this process, the video situation, it just would be too time consuming. You'd be here all day and I'm sure you've got better things to do. 
Um, so this is what I'm on. This is what I'm going to try and do. Is make these squares more interesting and then add stitch to them afterwards. Um, which I can't do with you now, like I said, because you'll be here all day. That's too big that one. So hopefully that's what's going to happen. Boom. Get them all done with something. And now I've also drawn stitch marks around each of these to define the space. Um, but I like it already. It's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay, it's making those squares more interesting. I think that one's too big and I haven't got my scissors over here, so I can't do anything about that. Let's have a look at a pink one going on. You don't all have to have more than one thing on them. They can, some of them, that's probably going to be alright on its own because it's quite big. Um, get a little bit of paper for here. But can you see? Now, I really like that already. Um, and then again, it will be massively different when I've added stitch to it. I need to cut that down, it's annoying me. Um, paper, I thought I'd ripped up more paper than that. But I can always rip up more. So that's what I'm on, that's what I'm doing. So if you can see there where I've done that, if I put, just put this on, I mean you can see already that it's building up and that it's going to work, it's going to be quite, hopefully, quite a nice composition. Um, I have a new class starting in a couple of weeks, um, and the registration closes this coming Wednesday. So if you're interested and you want to have a look, the link is on my blog. There's a page on my blog called Online Learning Links. If you click on that, the link is on there. Um, but also it's mentioned numerous times in my blog posts so if you scroll down you'll find it okay or if you want to ask me anything you can message me here on YouTube or you can email me at contemporaryembroidery at hotmail.com okay it's all lowercase contemporaryembroidery at hotmail.com or you can comment on my blog that'll I'll get that and I'll get in touch with you that way. So thank, I'm excited to actually keep going with this. So uh, when it's finished, it will appear on my blog sometime in the next week. Let's hope, let's hope in the next week. 